Hello, welcome back. It's Ashley here with this week's Stamp Create Repeat video for your next stamp. Today I'm going to be making a fun and easy Valentine's card. It is so sparkly. It's hard to see in the video, but I used Wink of Stella and I just sparkled up that whole little iceberg and it looks so sparkly. So I'm going to start out by sharing with you the products I'll be using. I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. I also use the Your Next Stamp Wire Snips. And I will have all this linked in the description box below so you can find it over in the Your Next Stamp store. Um, I also use this Posca pen which I purchased off of Amazon. And I use this Wink of Stella for glittering up the iceberg which was also from Amazon. I'm just tilting it here so you can kind of see. It's always tricky to show the Wink of Stella in videos but just trust me that it is so shimmery. I used this older Doodlebug paper pad. It's by, um, it's the Lovebirds collection and I use that XOXO one. For the stamp set, I used Penguin Love and this is such a cute set. It's really nice for Valentine's Day, but I love that it has the happy anniversary sentiment on there. So you could also use this for anniversary cards and really get your money's worth out of this little set here. So I used that and then I also used the coordinating dies that you can purchase separate and it also cut out those little hearts for me. And then I used this die here and I used the largest size here. This is the Stitch Scalloped Rectangles die set and I love this one. I've used it for so many projects and I love the stitching on it and the scallops just look so cute. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by just stamping out my little image here. I'm using the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink and the Recollection 65 pound cardstock. And I'm just stamping this one out and then I'm going to stamp out the little heart. I'm going to stamp out three of them. I just wanted to have those cute little hearts surrounding the little penguins. For my coloring, I'll be using Copic markers today. I'm starting out with YR07 for the little beaks and for their little feet there. Then I'm gonna go in with YR02 and blend that out. These little guys are so precious and I love how their little bellies combined makes a little heart. It's so cute, especially for Valentine's Day. And I think these guys would be really cute colored up pink as well. Like you could color them up some cute colors besides just doing black like I show in the video. I also used then again the YR07 to add in the darkest portion and blend that out with the YR02. Then I'm gonna do the pink part for the bow. I'm gonna use RV55, and I actually wanted to make it a little bit darker, so I go in with a darker color. I end up picking out RV17. I love that pink color. It's a nice bright like fuchsia. And then I go back in with the RV55. Now I'm just doing the hearts. I'm adding the darkest portion at the bottom. And I love that the little iceberg that they're standing on is a heart as well. This is just such a cute thought out little set. Then I go back in once more just with the darkest color. For the little iceberg, I'm just taking B000. I wanted to add a little bit of shading but not actually color the whole iceberg. So I'm just going around their feet and their body there so that it gives a little bit of shading onto the igloo. And then I'm just going along the bottom part here and all the little accent bits. For the little penguins, I'm going to use some dark gray colors. I'm going to start out by using C8 and I'm just adding the darkest portion where they kind of meet their bodies and then also at the bottom of their body and below their arm. I'm gonna do that for both of the penguins and then I'm gonna go in with my lighter Copic marker. I actually only have C8 and C4, so I'm going to just do the tip to tip technique and touch the C4 to the C8 and that will give me a color in between those colors and it'll allow me to blend them out. And I do like this better for doing black. I find when I do blacks, I like to use my dark grays because it allows you to still give shading to the dark black color. So I'm just going to go in first with the gray and then I'll do that tip to tip technique that I was talking about. And as I had mentioned earlier, you definitely don't have to color them gray or black. You could do them pink, you could do them blue, that would be really cute. This is a nice set too for the winter. It definitely wouldn't have to be for Valentine's Day or for an anniversary. You could get a lot of use out of this set with some cute different occasions. I love how it says I love you because that really just makes it like you could use it for a thank you card or if you wanted to do a birthday card for a loved one, you could definitely get away with using this set as well. So now I'm just doing that tip to tip 
technique and you can see how it's giving me some nice shading in between that C4 and C8 and it's really just allowing me to have some shade to a dark color like this. And I just kind of playing around with it and going back and forth to give it the shading that I wanted. And I got a little bit on the little beak there. So I just used my C, um, my blender C00 and I just erased that part there. Now I'm just taking in the C2 and I'm going to blend that all out. And I love the color, how it worked out. I wanted to still be able to see their little eyes and see their cute little arms and everything as well. So I just went over that little spot where I had used the colorless blender and added in some orange. And I'm just playing around and just darkening it up now. Right now I'm using the C4. And then I go in with the C2. Now I'm just gonna take some R20 to put some pink on their little cheeks. And then I'm gonna use that Posca pen that I was showing. This is just basically like a paint pen and it's another way instead of using a white jelly pen, I find the Posca pen works a lot better. So I'm just adding three little dots on each of their cheeks and then I just add a little accent on their bodies and then also their hands. Using the Posca pen, I'm just adding a little accent on each of the hearts as well. And then I'm going to take my wire snips and the coordinating dies. I'm just trimming them apart and I'm going to use this one for the image. And then they're also in the set comes one for that little tiny heart. So I'm going to cut that out as well. I'm using a little bit of washi tape just to hold down the coordinating die there. And also for that little tiny heart. So here's the little image all cut out and the little heart as well. It's so cute. I love this all trimmed out. It looks so adorable. Now I'm going to trim out the other two hearts. After I do that, I'm just taking this scalloped rectangle die and this really cute XOXO paper that I had in my stash that's from Doodlebug. And I'm just running it through there and I have all of my pieces ready for my card. So I'm going to just stamp on my sentiment here. I'm using the one that says, I love you. And because that background paper is so nice, light colored, I can just stamp right on top of it. And I'm just doing it off onto a piece of scrap paper first. It came out perfectly, but I just wanted to make sure before I stamped it on that card stock here. Now I have my A2 sized card base here and then I'm just going to take my ATG gun and adhere down this base. And I just love those scalloped backgrounds. It's such an easy way to make a cute background for a card and you can get good use out of all of your adorable pattern papers. So I'm setting this little penguin here at the bottom and then I'm just going to add on these little hearts. So I'm adding one in between them at the top there and then I'm gonna put another one above it and one below where the I love you is. And you could definitely add on some gumdrops or some sequins at this point as well, but because I used the Wink of Stella, I didn't wanna go crazy with the glitter, so I'm just gonna use the Wink of Stella now for a little bit of added fun. I thought that would be so cute on the little iceberg, so I'm just adding it on to the hearts, and then I do that whole iceberg in glitter. And as I mentioned, it's really hard to see in the pictures, and also it's pretty hard to see in um, the video, but in person, it is so sparkly, I love it. And I'm just trying to hold it up here so you can see some of the glitter. And honestly, you can kind of see it, but it does not do it justice. It's so sparkly. So that is my card for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye now.